My wife just shared one of the best things that she could have with me when she got back today. The tutoring group last week, some of the tutors this week might have worked with a gentleman down in Carpenter's house too. Well, he got a job today because he could figure out how to fill an application out. what you've done. 97 out of you. Seven, day, seven hour days equals 679 hours of man hours a day that y'all put in. You times that by five days, y'all put 3,395 hours in this week.
But if Cookie was standing beside me tonight, she's 76 years old, just turned 76 last week, she'd be bawling <laughs> right now, trying to hug every one of them because she made a difference in her town. Those little children that she tutored and played ball with, there was a hundred and, I think he said, what, 189 soccer players out on that field last night? That some of y'all was over there helping tutor, teach soccer. Wow. Not only did you touch the kids, but you touched the parents. <coughs> Grandparents might not have been there, but they're going to hear about it. College students from New England took the time to come down and teach their grandson or granddaughter some fundamentals about soccer. You're going to have a bunch of proud grandparents across the country. I know because I am one. I hope that when my grandkids are playing sports, find folks like you take the time to help them. Y'all have humbled an old man this week. I've been a, a, a cripple this week, and I've been able to get really reinforced and work with you. I, I, I've kind of missed that. I like doing it. And I'm sorry that I wasn't able to do that. I kind of played Hercules last week. I'm not Hercules. But you've done a great job. I thank y'all. We're going to be praying that you have a safe trip home, hopefully in your meetings, small groups and uh, community. Uh, some of the words that were shared sunk in. My appeal to y'all tonight is if I could keep one of y'all from taking the path that I took, I'd give my life. If I could keep one of you from taking the path that I took in my life. If you don't have Jesus in your heart, seek him. There's a guarantee I'm going to share with you. You look around this room, 10 out of 10 of us are going to die. We have a choice. There is eternity. Love y'all. Hope to see y'all. Be good. Go back to enjoying your crawfish. If you ate crawfish and you're through eating, we have an excessive amount of crawfish. I don't believe you wasted anything. I'm sure y'all learned that this week. I'm a penny pincher. We need to shuck those because if they stay on the shell, they'll be no good. There'll be a lot of money wasted. If we can get some of y'all to come out there and help shuck it, save the meat, next week with the next team, we'll be able to have a, a, a delicacy called crawfish etouffee. The team the following week will be able to have it. Crawfish at the fight. <laughs> and it'll save InterVarsity a lot of money. So if, you, if you're not cooking, I mean, if you're through eating, if you could go out there, there's 97 of you, there's close to 100 pounds left out there on the table. If y'all all shook the pound, it'd go quick. Okay? So thank you. Please help them shove those where we can save. God bless you.